what's good everybody so mw3 has been launched and a lot of people don't have their best window settings or the in-game settings when it comes to the maximum fps and i'm here to help you guys with that being said let's start immediately first things first we're gonna go to windows update settings some of y'all don't even update their windows i recommend you guys to definitely update your windows every month to get that smooth gaming experience so as you can see i have an update ready i will be definitely doing this after this video then we're gonna go to game mode settings i have this on on when game mode is on windows optimizes your pc for play then we're gonna go to graphic settings as you can see hardware accelerated gpu scheduling i have this on on i haven't tested it when it's on off uh, but when i have it on on i don't uh, notice any lag or fps issues so yeah i have this on on then we're gonna go to background apps um you definitely want to have this on off you don't want to have apps running in the background while you're gaming um definitely definitely put this on off then we're gonna close this we're gonna click run then we're gonna type in percentage temp percentage and as you can see we are gonna be removing all of this and you click on delete and these things cannot be removed we skip these because that means that it is already running in the background then we're gonna go to nvidia control panel then we're gonna head on to manage 3d settings these settings works the best for all games for pc players we're gonna go to global settings and feel free to copy these settings as you can see image scaling off 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 anti-aliasing off camera correction on mode off background application max frame rate off all driver default off 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 auto open gl rendering gpu we're gonna select uh nvidia geforce rtx 3080 that is the gpu that i have currently then power management mode we're gonna put do prefer maximum performance i think the default one is on normal so we're gonna click on prefer maximum performance preferred refresh rate that is the monitor that i have right now highest available i think uh default is application controlled so i have it on highest available shader cache size i have it on 100 gb um texture filter anti sample on filtering allow um then we have the texture filtering quality high performance i think default is gonna be um quality i believe i'm not sure but i have it on high performance texture filter optimization on threaded optimization on triple buffering off vertical sync definitely put that on off and then one off auto all right definitely feel free to copy these settings and let me know if this helped you when it comes to the fps then we're gonna go to adjust desktop color settings now basically i recommend you guys to check out what is the best for you uh i have these settings um as you can see brightness is on 55 digital vibrance on 52 if i put more digital vibrance my game color is going to be way too much color so for me 52 is the best but like i said if you have a different monitor just feel free to play with it 60 is good 55 is good i think the default was 45 percent um put this on 50 or 55 or 60 see which one is better quality play with it a little bit uh this will basically make your game this will basically make your game more vibrant more colorful and uh, yeah, man, feel free to check it out what works the best for you. And then we're going to check out our drivers. We're going to go to NVIDIA.com. We're going to select the GPU that we have. I have a 3080. If you have a 4090, then you're going to go to GeForce RTX 40 series. I have it. I have a 30 series, so 3080. We're going to click on search. And I want you guys to download the latest driver for MW3, um, which is the 546.01 game ready driver. Definitely download the latest driver. To get that maximum fps uh basically when mw3 was launched uh this driver came out as well as you can see i have it as well here if i click on um this uh i have the 546.01 so definitely download this driver the link is going to be in the bio to find this website all right first things first we go to settings graphics display i recommend everybody to put this on full screen exclusive i have it on full screen borders because i do have my chat on this monitor and i sometimes pull out the chat to the main monitor or i do other stuff with discord that's why i have it on full screen borders but i do recommend everybody to be it on full screen exclusive then we'll go scroll down a little bit nvidia reflex low latency 
I recommend everybody to put this on on boost. It gave me a little bit more FPS. If you see a little bit slight FPS decrease, then put this on on. But I recommend everybody to put it on on boost. Then we scroll down a little bit. This is probably default for everybody. Custom off off. So have it on default. And then we go to custom frame rate limit. I have a 240 hertz monitor. So I have it on 240 FPS. And then the menu I have on 60 I recommend everybody to put it on 60 because you don't need to have 240 fps in the menu uh you only need 60. basically what that does is it cools down the gpu and it doesn't get too fast overheat so definitely 60 fps is definitely the way to go when it comes to the menu focus mode on 90 i believe this is also on uh default then we're gonna go to quality and then we're gonna go to upskill slash sharpening i think when it comes to the default uh settings it's nvidia image scaling or dlss um when i have this on on it doesn't look too bad but it's a little bit blurry for my monitor i definitely recommend everybody even if you're on console to go to fidelity cast and put this on 100 if you click on fidelity cast i think it's uh, 90 you definitely want to have this on 100 and then you click on apply settings now my game doesn't look too blurry it's very sharp and it's very very clean then we're gonna go to vram scale target i think default is 80 you want to put this on 90 variable rate shading i have this on on texture resolution if you have a very very low end pc i recommend you to put it on very low if you have a very high end monster pc put this on normal um i have it on no i have it on low i think low is also perfectly fine um then we're gonna go to texture filter anti-stropic i have this on normal um like i said if you have a very very low end pc put this on low i think for medium size or high-end pc normal is also really really good because you don't want to have your game really really chalked roblox style there that's why i recommend everybody to put this on normal depth of field this is on on i don't know why uh on default definitely put that on off because when you basically aim as you can see it makes the, your left side on your right side really really blurry um sometimes when you want to flick to an enemy let's say an enemy is over here that enemy is going to be blurry I don't know why this is on on definitely put this on off so nothing is blurry and you can see everything in front of you then we're gonna go to detail quality level i don't recommend you to put it on normal even with a high-end pc definitely put this on low particle resolution well if you have this on high what it does basically um is when somebody throws a thermite the explosion like is insane i don't recommend you to do that because i feel like if you put it on high everything is gonna get blocked you don't see the enemies in front of you that's why i have this on very low because i want to see the enemy in front of me and it also takes a huge dump when it comes to the fps when a thermite is thrown and there's a like bunch of explosives in front of your screen so put this on very low bullet impacts this doesn't affect fps like almost nothing you want to have this on on because this looks just pretty cool in my opinion um persistent effect put this on off shader quality well you can put this on high but i don't recommend you to put it on high i think uh, medium is pretty damn good low if you have a very very low npc put this on low but i recommend everybody to put this on medium on demand text streaming i think by default this is on on you do not want to have on demand text streaming enabled basically it says high quality textures are downloaded from the internet as you play the game providing more call details on services you don't need that if you're on pc i think when it comes to console you can have this on on but on pc it, it basically chalks your whole fps put this on off um yeah definitely put this on off local put this on no uh, low shadow quality um i have it on normal um yeah i recommend everybody to put this on normal very low if you have a very very low npc um then we're gonna go to screen space shadows put this on off you don't need that ambient occlusion put this on off too i personally like this on off on all my games uh, i do know some people have it on both i have it on off when it comes to fps I, so yeah i definitely recommend you guys to put this on off too now screen space reflection basically in mw2 when you had this on high and you let's say you unlocked gold your gold looked really really shiny i don't know why but when you have this on um off the gold looked like plastic i don't know like rubber i don't know how to explain it was really really ugly um yeah i have this on on man like when i'm uh, when i'm about to unlock the interstellar camo i want to have my interstellar camo like looking really really nice when basically people are watching my stream i want the camo to be like vibrant 
I think uh, in this MW3 is going to be the same thing. I'm not sure. I haven't unlocked the camo yet. But I have this on high. Um, but yeah, if you want more FPS, you can put this on off. If you don't care about that, definitely put this on off then. Um, statics reflection quality. I have this on low. Uh, tessellation, put that on off. Terrain memory, put that on min. Uh, volumetric quality, put this on low. You don't need this on high. Depth physics quality, put this on off. Weather grid volumes. Uh, you can put it on normal. I have it on off. I like to have my game maximum FPS. Put this on off. Water quality. You don't need that to put that shit on off as well. Now, field of view. If you're a controller player, you can have this on 115 or 110. Um, but I recommend everybody to put it on 120. And the reason why I say this is because the less FPV you have, the more basically bounce your gun gonna have too. So it bounces all over the place. So the more FPV you have, the less visual recall you are gonna get as well but if you're a controller player 115 is not that bad or 110 is not that bad too when it comes to multiplayer games when it when the new integration is gonna start which is the new warzone map definitely put this on 120 fov but when it comes to multiplayer you can have 120 fov or you can have 110 115 see which one is the best for you ads field of view definitely put this on affected weapon field of view i think by default this is gonna be default i recommend you guys to put it on white you don't want to have your weapon in front of your uh screen <laughs> like you don't want the weapon basically the weapon looks bigger you want that you don't want that weapon to look really really big you want to see more in front of you so i recommend you guys to put it on white third person view view i have this on 90 there's no third person i think only when you're playing zombies a vehicle white uh world motion blur i think by default this is on off Weapon motion blur, I think by default this is on on. You don't need that shit. Put this on off, man. You don't want to have motion blur when you're moving the whole time. Film grain, I think by default is 25. You want to have this on zero. First person camera movement, I think this is on default 100%. Definitely, definitely recommend you guys to put it on least 50 because you don't want to have your camera shaking the whole time while you're going left and right. You want to have as low shake as possible. Least 50 on both um then yeah that is basically my view now you may be asking hey Russ, so do you also have some controller settings when it comes to the sensitivity input dead zone or maximum dead zone or some mouse and key settings when it comes to the aim well i do also warzone coaching and i'm most likely everyday live my twitch link is going to be in the description and if you want to get warzone coached by me feel free to hit me up during my live stream or you can join the discord and send me a message we do also have coaching review where people have been writing their experience how the coaching session went you can check that out too i mean as you can see we have 240 fps and i have a 3080 uh gpu 240 fps is capped i mean the numbers don't lie guys let me know what you guys think i would appreciate if you guys hit that like comment subscribe and of course i'm gonna see you guys on the next one peace